the mammillary body right here. Okay? So that's the mammillary body, that's the mammillary nucleus. Coming into it will be the what? The main structure coming into it will be the fornix. Okay? The main structure coming in is what? The fornix. Then you're going to find an efferent, two major efferent pathways going out. Let's go down in red. Two major efferents coming out. That's leading out. And one is going up like that. Two major efferents. And the major efferents are what? So we label those. The red ones, mammillo and mammillo tendentos. All right? The mammillo salamic and what? The mammillo is. Medial forebrain bundle, by the way. Who is this boy? Mr. Lee, what's the name of this young lady right in front of you, the camera, the photographer? Shakira. Hmm? Shakira. Shakira? Shakira, what is this structure here? Um. Shakira is a good little friend and um, the, the name has been slipping. Shakira, what is that structure? I don't remember. Hmm? What's that structure? Spherical Shakira, that's the fornix. That is forming the arch. And that is the fornix. So see the fornix here in this specimen? The fornix is much more well developed here. Look how big the fornix is right here. So the fornix is massive here. See there again? That's the fornix. See that is just looping right over. That's it. That is traveling out in this land here. And this boy, he's traveling and he's emerging right in the interpeduncular fossa, which we spoke about yesterday. Who is the nerve that is in the interpeduncular fossa? Who is that nerve that is in the interpeduncular fossa? Right arising from the cruis cerebri. Who is that nerve? Anybody knows who is this nerve? Right there emerging. Who then we know this nerve? Hmm? And that nerve is the third nerve, the oculum. There, there we get, let me see if I can do it. Here we get what? The optic nerves coming in. True? And the optic nerves are going to cross in a structure known as the what? The optic chiasma. From there we get what? The optic tracts coming off. Okay? And then at this end we get a big structure known as the pons. Okay? That's the pons right here. And then connecting this structure is the what? The cerebral pedonculus. And then arising from the medial aspect of the cerebral peduncles and going forward is the third cranial nerve. A structure comes right here and that structure is known as, the most anterior structure is known as what? The optic, sorry, the infundibulum. Remember the infundibulum? And what's the area that directly surrounds the infundibulum called? What's the area that directly surrounds the infundibulum? No blood-brain barrier. And I forgot to tell you also, last time the pineal doesn't have a blood-brain barrier. Mm, what's the area that directly surrounds? Mm, what's the area that directly surrounds? What's it known as? Directly surrounds infundibulum. And there's a nucleus in, nucleus in there known as the arcuate nucleus. Mm, and there's a nucleus in there known as the arcuate nucleus. I'm not hearing anything. I'm not hearing a thing at all. All is silence and quiet. So within the, so once again the interpeduncular fossa, so all of this area, the bulk of this area is going to contribute to what? The hypothalamus. Because this is the floor of what? The third ventricle. So we see bounded anteriorly by the optic chiasma, bounded posteriorly by the pons, Bounded anterior laterally by the optic tracts, bounded posterior laterally by the cerebral peduncle. Contained in there is the infundibulum, the infundibular stalk, surrounded by an area known as the median eminence. And outside of that median eminence is a bigger area known as the tuber cinereum. Posterior to this are the mammillary bodies, and posterior to the mammillary bodies, posterior perforated substance. And arising now from the medial aspect of the cerebri and going forward is which nerve? The third cranial nerve. Reasonable. And it was what? Vacant. 
You can stand, you stand on something. You can see. So what am I looking at there? Optic nerves. And directly behind that we see the what? The optic chasma. And when I now reflect the optic chasma, well what I have dissected off? You see I have dissected it off, but there was a structure that formed a roof right over this. That is now gone. You can see it's all absent, making what? Like the large entrance to a cave. But a large entrance to a cave is not there. It's roofed. It's shelf. This is what? Dura mater. Mm -hmm. And the dura mater is going to form a shelf over that depression. And that shelf is known as, is known as the diaphragma cellae. That shelf of dura will be known as what? The diaphragma cellae. But that diaphragma cellae will have a little what? Hole in it. And what will that hold before? The infundibular stalk together what? With the vessels, the vessels that are going up, up and down. Okay? So, what am I holding on to here? Alright, what am I holding on to here? William, what am I holding on to right here? What is that? Can you see? What is that? What's that? What's that? What's that? You can see it? You can see it? Very good. Hold on to it, Bill. Hold on. Just hold it with the forceps. Yeah. What's that? You see it's a flange? What's the name of that flange? What's the name of that flange? So that flange is this structure right here. Sorry, look. That flange is this structure. And what is that structure right here? What's that structure right here? Rosie? Posterior clinoid process. Posterior clinoid process. Kathy, you agree with her? Posterior clinoid process. Bill, you agree with her? That structure? Dorsum celli. And what is that? The back of the chair. Then now, those little sharp structures that are coming off on either side, those now are the posterior clinoid processes. All right? But the back of the chair is the what? The dorsum celli. So when we hold that structure, what are we holding there? Dorsum celli. These sharp prickles, these sharp spines, those sharp spines are what? They? The posterior clinoid process. Same, Rosie? Mm -hmm. They are the posterior clinoid processes. Pass your finger there, Rosie. Just put gently feel it. They're sharp? Yes, very. Okay. All right, so those are the posterior clinoid processes. You have to be very careful with this skull. This is my special skull. From what year? 1923. Right, so the man, this man died somewhere, was born in the 1800s and died in about 1922 or so. Alright, but it's a very special one because it has very good what? What are these structures called? Styloid processes. You see that? Very good what? Styloid processes. So, it, so I'm doing, I've done already three research papers and doing a fourth paper on these styloid processes. All right, so just um, while I was on sabbatical, I did three papers on it. Hmm? No, this is very, very elongated. Something wrong? Who is that? Oh, very good. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. 